Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last time we beat it, beat it? Beat the mid-boss Mothula and we got both the boomerang and the big keys, so hopefully we can finish the dungeon if all goes well. And I hope it does because this place is starting to really creep me out. Not gonna lie, in Ocarina of Time, the dungeon that scared me the most was the Forest Temple. The Shadow Temple did scare me, but the Forest Temple creeped me out. Plus, it was the first one to have those uh, floor masters and having invincible hand enemies running around at you, trying to uh, trying to capture you, drain your life force, then grow. Really, uh, really, really creepy, and I don't feel like I'm doing this the right way. Maybe. You never know. I should actually use that, uh, that Dooku butt over there. That's probably what it's there for. Lift. Blow me to the top. To the top, please. Alright, now. We could go through that door over there, which is the way to the boss. But I did a little bit of looking around. And I think if we can get up, which may actually, there we go. Uh, we can go get that treasure chest we left behind in the beginning of the dungeon. So I definitely want to do that because I feel like we're in a good position to be able to do that right away. And I'm hopeful that it's something good, you know, like a treasure chart and not a joy pendant. Still a little bit salty about <laughs> going to the top of the room for just a joy pendant. What I'm not salty about though is the fact that we have all the feathers we need to do that Rito side quest. I really want to go knock that out, assuming the King of Red Lions lets me. That's always the question, apparently. And go away. It could be a fact that I was doing it somewhat wrong. I don't think I was. But maybe because I wasn't on the direct path back to Windfall, the game was screwing me over a little bit. There's, that's always a possibility. Not gonna lie. But I feel it's really weird still that they try to hold your hand and make you come this far. And I'm really hoping that they don't make you do the first three. Wow. The first three dungeons, all at the same time. Because, I'm not gonna lie, without side quests and without exploring the Great Sea, this is actually a fairly short game for a Zelda game. There are three children dungeons and only two adult dungeons. But, you see that platform up there and I think that's what we're headed for. And I feel like these buzz will show us the way. Yeah, this is actually one of the shortest mainline dungeon or mainline Zeldas. Whew, good hands, Link. That I can remember playing. Um, I think Minish Cap also has the problem that it's a really short game unless you do all of the. Um, you're gonna knock me out there, aren't you? All of the uh, Keystone trading sequences. And if you do that, then it is actually a fairly long game. But if you don't do that, it's not. Majora's Mask was also well known for its side quest uh, quantity. And I actually really did like Majora's Mask because of that. But it still managed to be pretty substantial. Even though I guess really it too only had four main dungeons. Hmm. All right. I want that chest you're guarding. Give me something good. You got a treasure chart. I don't know what happened to the sound there. You got a treasure chart. I hope that was just my headphones. Open this chart on the map screen and a place where the treasure lies will be lit up. So to that area and then use the chart to find the treasure. All right. With that, let's check the map. 
Because I believe that is the last treasure chest in the dungeon, except for the one right outside. No, actually. What is that one? We didn't do that one, did we? Huh. How would we get to that one is a good question. Very, very interesting. Well, I'm going to finish this dungeon and we'll come back if we have to. Because I do want to do the boss this fight and go ahead and move forward with the story. And then if I can't figure out how to get to that room by the end of this episode, I will uh, start next episode in that room. And we'll see what's in that chest and then we'll move on. But that room doesn't look like it's connected to anything. Which is really weird. Of course, this dungeon is pretty vertical oriented. Actually, so, you know, giving that into consideration. Ah, maybe there is a way. All right, let's let's check this out. Change of plans. Let's go back to the very first room and look for clues to get down, because I think that's the only way into that room. I. Maybe it's got something good, you never know. Maybe it has a heart piece. I have noticed a distinct lack of heart pieces in the dungeon so far. Ah, I am completely out of magic. Good to know. Glad I made it over here without dying. Okay. Choose. Y'all are really annoying to fight when you duck like that. I just want you to die. Why can't you cooperate? It's really important to me that you die as quickly as possible because in doing that, I will stay alive. I definitely like that in the Minish Cap, you fight a Chew as Minish Link. That's really cool and it's actually kind of a challenging boss fight, especially when you fight a Blue Chew. That's really difficult. Although at that point the blue chew is a mini boss, so you are fairly equipped for it. But the ability of the chew to electrify himself definitely gives Minish Link some problems. Okay. I am not in the correct room. And my cats are fighting, so we actually have to go over here. Oh well, I got a bunch of chew jelly from my trouble. So then it's down here. Yeah, okay. So maybe it's not as good a treasure as I was hoping for? No, actually there it is. We've seen this one before. Whoops. I did forget about this one and I don't know what it has in it, but maybe it has something good because you have to come back here with the boomerang to get it. Damn you, Deku Babas. And yes, I'm going to call you that even though I'm not sure that's actually your real name. I don't care, you will always be Deku Babas. Okay, so what is in here? Besides choose. But I would actually like to beat the crap out of with my boomerang. Too bad the boomerang only stuns choose, it does not kill them. I was really hoping for more murder. I mean, even if it is traditional. Come on. Murder is always preferable to stunning. Murder is like a stun that is permanent. All right, what's in here? You got a knight's crest. Hooray. Keep it in your spoils bag. All who's skilled in the way of the sword know the value of a crest, such as blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, now that should take care of all the chests. And we won't ever have to come back here again. So let's head straight for the boss. Can't believe I was actually puzzled over that, but... It was not in the room I thought it was in, so that was also part of it. This is a good opportunity to replenish my magic. Where am I going? Across to the stump, I think, is the answer. Oh no. I just saw it after I launched myself. Oh well, we're here now. Where will the stump take me? 
Not to the top, but oh well. Into this one? How did I get out of this room? This one, okay. I am a little worn out. Today was Slack Off Community Day for Pokego. And yes, I do play Pokego. I get out and I walk and I figure if I'm going to be rewarded for getting out and walking, I might as well install the game and play it again. It's actually gotten a lot better. They took a lot of the problems and a lot of the, the criticism from 2016 and they definitely improved things. And uh, a lot of it is fun. I really do enjoy the special research that awards you mythicals. Just because that's a long-term goal and those are always nice to have in a game. But this has also been Adventure Week and I was trying to A, raise a magic cart because it's part of my mythical Mew, re Mew research. And because if you walk 50, 50 kilometers this week, you get a big reward. And uh, I definitely wanted that. So I hit 50 kilometers today by walking 10-ish miles all through community day. And I'm actually planning on walking about 10 more or 6 more miles, 10 more kilometers. That way I get 40 more Magikarp candies. And I might actually just keep walking tonight until I can evolve my Magikarp. I was so close to being ready to do my Meltan research because for Meltan, you have the uh, in the later stages you have to capture a lot of fossil Pokemon, and those fossil Pokemon are actually available during Adventure Week. Most of them are available in my area normally, except for Aerodactyl. So a couple of nights ago, I was walking all over town trying to find the task that would reward an Aerodactyl because I wasn't able to get to that point in my Meltan research before Adventure Week because I need to evolve a couple of common Pokemon that I just didn't have the candy for. All right. So this week I've walked 50 kilometers. I'm probably going to walk another 10 kilometers tonight and maybe even another 10 tomorrow. All right, two of these Mothula larva things is what I'm going to call them. I don't know if that's their name. I don't really care. All I know is they poop a lot. They poop more than I'm comfortable with. Frankly, um, whoever's been feeding them, I would like you to feed them less because they are pooping too much. Too much poop. It's in this last chest. Joy pendant, hooray. You can keep it in your spoils bag, blah, blah, blah. Actually, how are we doing for that? I believe we're ready for that side quest too, at least the first part. Spoils bag, this button. Not quite, actually. Okay. Alright, come here, poop. Stick on my shoes. And then I'll cut you off. Uh, no, I'm full health. I'm full health, full magic. Let's get out of here. Crap, I got poop on me. This poop stalks me and jumps on my shoes. And that's really creepy. So, I did find out, uh, can I just, oh no, I'm probably going to burn you. I did find out that we missed a pot. Um, I'm not sure I can describe where it is, but there is definitely a pot before you get to Mothula. I just didn't go to the side of the room that it's on, but we've got this warp pot open now. Kind of wish I had opened it up. Where is my bottle? You are full of regular water, which means you're actually more useful to me than you were before. Speaking of water, where's mine? I need a drink. <sighs> there we go. I love water. Since I've weaned myself off of soda, I've really just started Boring as it is, appreciating the taste of good water. Of course, being up in Seattle, or Washington in general, 
Our water is literally mountain spring water, and this spawned poop. So it's really hard to not like the water up here, because a lot of people filter to get that taste, and we just have it. There's the fairy I was looking for. Come here. Yay! Alright. We're going to take that immediately off the bar, so I don't use it accidentally. I want to put... Um, let's put this back on there. All right, it's boss time. Hey, a giant pulsating flower with what looks like a Korok inside it. Clearly this is the safest thing ever. I will just approach it. Nothing could go wrong. Oh god, don't, don't eat my little friend. You eated my friend. So this is Kale Demos. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a really weird name. But it's a fairly simple fight. You need to cut the vines with the boomerang and then attack the flower when it falls to the ground. That's all you really need to do. As well as, you know, avoid tentacles. That's definitely a plus. Just kind of put yourself in a first-person mode here. Move as close to the edge of the room as you can. And lock onto a few tentacles at a time. Or a few of the vines at a time. Try not to let them regrow. Do be quick about it. But once you get them all cut down... Come on, Link. Pull out your boomerang. You will go to the next and will be able to actually do damage. And, uh... Plant does not like having its vines cut. Pull out your boomerang, Link. There we go. If you do not hurry, they will slowly regrow. So you do want to be prompt about this. Go, that should be a good one. And that should be the last of it. I regrew some just in time. So yeah, the camera work here is going to be a little bit dodgy. There we go. No! Yeah, this is the hard part right here. Keeping up with the tentacle joneses. Especially if Link doesn't pull out his boomerang the way that I like. <sighs> you can't really Z-target it. That is the problem. completely lost the commentary because of this damn vine. I'm actually losing the vine race quite badly at this point. Mostly because Link does not want to pull out his boomerang and lock onto things. Alright, this feels like Link would pull it out. Pull it out, Link. There we go. Now, you want to use your sword because it takes it down the fastest. But be aware that you it's really easy to get eaten like that. And if you're worried about getting eaten, then you just may want to use the boomerang instead and use a longer range attack even though it does less damage. Fortunately, there are a lot of hearts available to you around the edges of the room. So, feel free to replenish your health frequently because you're going to need to. 
Damn it. I like this mechanic of cutting down the vines. I just wish it wasn't so weird about pulling out the boomerang because sometimes it recognizes it. Sometimes it treats it like I've already pushed the button. And part of this could be my fault for going for too many at a time and giving it time to recover. You might have better luck if you just go for smaller groups. And that time it was going to fall and then it regrew the vines in midair and I feel that's cheating. Damn it, I got eaten it again. You definitely need to give yourself plenty of time to get out of there. Fortunately, it does, getting eaten doesn't do too much damage, so it may be worth it if you feel like you're getting a lot of hits in to just wail on it and tank the damage since there are so many opportunities to replenish your health. And I definitely feel like I've got the flow of this now. And he's done. Not a difficult fight, just kind of um, a little bit hard to do because of the controls. Overall, that's our second boss down. That'll be our second heart container to get. And we've rescued little Makar. Which Link is super happy about. Swordsman, are you the one who rescued me? You have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on the earth was over. But why are you here, Swordsman? What? The great Deku tree sent you? Oh, th that's right. Today's our cere annual ceremony. Today's the day of our annual ceremony. Oh, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately. Alright, well, we'll get you out of here immediately, but first, you got a heart container. Your life energy has increased by one, plus your life gauge has been replenished. Do I carry you, or no? Okay, we're just gonna get out of here together, huh? Oh, there you are. Come in the magical whirlwind, Makar. Good, Korok. Aw, Deku Tree is happy to see his child. Oh, Makar, you have returned safely. I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but still I did not listen. <laughs> Do not worry, Makar. You are safe now. Just be more careful from now on. You have done well, Link. I must thank you for your brave deeds. Here is that which I have promised you. Please accept it. You're not going to groan at me, are you? Because that was pretty creepy. Thank God this did not hit me in the head. You received Ferrore's Pearl, the Earth Spirit. The Deku Tree has seen fit to give you this jewel, a treasure of the goddess Ferrore. It is my hope that this pearl shall lead you to a fair destiny. All is well, Makar. Do not cry. Please, play your songs for me as you always do. Oh, that's right. We must begin our ceremony soon, before the day ends. I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Let the ceremony begin. Oh, great, Link. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. Like I could tell the difference because this is the first time I've ever seen you play. I hope you enjoy it. I do like this song a lot.
great Deku tree. This year you have once again produced, produced some splendid seeds. With these seeds, we will continue to spread new forests across the great sea. Let us go, Koroks, to the sea! See you all next year! Take care! Farewell, great swordsman. May the winds of chance bring us together again someday. Someday. Are you the leader because you've got a red mask? Are you like the Red Ranger? I've been on a Power Rangers kick lately. And that's it. That's it for the Forbidden Forest. And we have rescued the Great Deku Tree and gotten Ferrore's Pearl. Only one pearl remains. But hopefully before we take on that challenge, we have the opportunity to do some side questing because I really, really want to. But we're going to do that next time, guys. Thanks for coming out and joining me today. As always, I much appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed what you saw today, leave me that thumbs up. It really helps the channel out, and I feel good about myself, and you want me to feel good about myself, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? If you're new to the channel and you want to see more of my shenanigans, why don't you subscribe? Because I'm going to be uploading Wind Waker every day this week. And if you have any hints, tips, or tricks, or you just want to talk, I don't know, Deku to me? Talk Deku to me, baby. Leave me a comment down below. Once again, y'all have a great day. Later.